As we mentioned last week, the LEED certification system was created to encourage the development of buildings and neighborhoods that have a low environmental impact and to promote green building. Reducing waste is an integral factor to improving the environment during the building process and after building occupation. A huge portion of construction and demolition debris includes recyclable materials such as brick, wood, carpet, plastic, and metal. Before starting construction, a lead project must have a construction waste management plan that identifies potential waste streams and various methods of waste diversion that can be adopted. Recycling excess or unused building material is important to reduce the waste that would otherwise be sent to landfills. Additionally, purchasers who use materials made up of recycled content help reduce the demand for virgin materials, which often require a lot of resources to produce. Lead projects must also implement a solid waste management policy that identifies a goal diversion rate and cover strategies to reduce waste once the building is complete and occupants have moved in. Recycling is a prerequisite for lead certification. At minimum, a lead project must recycle paper, corrugated cardboard, glass, plastics, and metal. How does collective fit into this process? Next week, we'll be covering the important role waste haulers play to help projects meet their diversion goals.